Lift up your hands to heaven. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for giving us this opportunity to share the word. Father God, we ask you to speak to us. We seek your presence in this place. May your name be glorified. Even as you speak to us through the word, and the Father, we ask you to be glorified. We are only vessels ready to be used of you. Speak to us and minister greatly. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 We can take our seats. Basi, uh, we, we, we have heard all the announcements. Tumepata tangazo zote. So now we just want to go to the word. Na hivi basi, sasa tunataka kuenda kwa neno. Our visitors, welcome. Wageni wetu karibuni. Those who have helped us in any way, God bless you. We love you as your parents in the spiritual realm. And we are asking God to continue to bless you. Uh, this is our topic today. Divine advancement. Kuendelea kwa kiungu ushers us into expansion of our territories. Kuna tuingiza katika eneo letu ambalo limepanuliwa. It is actually a statement. Hakika ni usemi divine advancement. Kuendelea kwa kiungu ushers us into expansion of our territories. Kuna tuingiza katika kupanuliwa kwa eneo letu. The man who has just left here has spoken a word. Yule mtu ambaye ametoka hapa amesema neno. And I really wondered. Na hakika nikashangaa. Because uh, God can use a vessel. Kwa sababu Mungu anaweza kutumia chombo. He said may God expand your territories and the place of your tent. <laughs> Akasema na Mungu apanue maeneo yako na hema yako. A time came when a, a donkey spoke. Wakati ukafika na punda akaongea. That man has spoken. E, huyo mtu ameongea. May the Lord expand your territories. Wana Mungu wapanue maeneo yako. And the place of your tent. Na mahali pa hema yako. Somebody say amen. Mtu aseme hamina. First Chronicles chapter 4 verse 9 and 10. Mambo ya nyakati eh, wa kwanza nne mstari wa tisa na wa kumi. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Go to verse 10. Jabez cried out to the Lord, O God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his request. Verse 10. Mr. Wakumi, huyo ya besi alimlelea mungu wa Israeli akisema, Lau kwamba unganambarikia kweli kweli na kunizidishia hozi yangu na mkono wako ungekuwa pamoja nami nawe unganilinda na uovu ili usiwe kwa uzuni yangu naye Mungu akamjalia hayo aliyoyaomba I am interested in uh, this statement in the prayer of Jabez oh that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Navutiwa na ile usemi katika maombi ya Ebesi mali anasema kwamba lau kwamba ungenibarikia kweli kweli na kunizidishia ama kupanua hema yangu. A territory can even be maeneo in Kiswahili. So 
enlarge my territory basi upanue maeneo yangu somebody say amen mtu aseme amina uh, this is going to be our key verse sasa huu utakuwa mstari wetu wa muhimu about enlarging the territory kuhusu kupanua maeneo when i just want to introduce when god keeps on advancing you nataka kufanya utangulizi wakati mungu anazidi kukupeleka mbele ama kuendeleza he has a particular interest yeye huwa na eh, mvuto ama enlarging kitu. enlarging the territory of those who call upon his name kupanua maeneo ya wale ambao wanaletea jina lake a time comes when you feel like you are squeezed in a place wakati ufika na unahisi ya kwamba umefinywa katika mahali fulani you feel the way you are living is like you are in a small territory and there are boundaries surrounding you unahisi ya kwamba mahali ambapo unaishi ama unakaa ni mahali ambapo ni, pa, ni kidogo na kuna mipaka ambayo inakuzunguka pale inakuzuia the man making this prayer people don't know that he was a king yule mtu ambaye anafanya maombi haya watu hawajui ya kwamba alikuwa mfalme so he was a leader in juda kwa hivyo alikuwa kiongozi katika yuda some people think that he was a poor man he was a man who had nothing watu wengine ufikiria kwamba yeye alikuwa maskini hakuwa na chochote but he came to understand that even as a king he wanted more space in his life lakini akaja kutambua kama mfalme anahitaji nafasi zaidi katika maisha yake a bigger space nafasi ambayo ni kubwa a bigger sphere of influence eneo kubwa la kuadhiri that is why he went before the lord hii ndio sababu alienda mbele za bwana it looks like a sentence inaonekana kama ni sentence tu but this was a serious process lakini huu ulikuwa taratibu wa kumaanisha counting many things kihesabu vitu vingi because he knew from birth kwa sababu alijua kutoka he was limited alikuwa amezuiliwa possibly by the circumstances that took place during the time of his birth labda kwa sababu ya yale mambo yaliyotendeka kuzunguka kuzaliwa kwake and is he advanced na alipoendelea he prayed that the lord may bless him and enlarge his territory akaomba bwana ili kwamba apanue maeneo yake i feel convicted na hisi kushawishika as i was praying you know preparing this message nilipokuwa naandaa ujumbe huu up to late this morning hata mpaka kile wamechelewa sana asubuhi almost 2 am in the morning mwendo wa saa 8 asubuhi i got a conviction nikapata ushawishi there are people who will come to this church today ya kwamba kuna watu ambao watakuja katika kanisa hili leo and they have a cry in their hearts na wanakilio katika mioyo yao that they need their territory to be enlarged ya kwamba wanataka eneo lao lipanuliwe even this church hata kanisa hili we pray for territorial expansion tunaombea kupanuliwa kwa maeneo the women of this house wanawake wa nyumba hii need territorial expansion wanahitaji kupanuliwa kwa maeneo i can feel it so strongly naweza kuhisi kwa uzito sana even the men in this house hata wanaume katika nyumba hii require territorial expansion wanahitaji kupanuliwa kwa maeneo there is no need hakuna hitaji of you being the way you are yako kuwa vile ulivyo and your son or dora is less than you na mwana wako ama binti yako yeye ni ndogo kukulipa may that never be permitted hiyo is why ruhusiwa if there are territories you are not able to reach kama kuna maeneo ambayo hungeweza kuyafikia may your children get those territories na watoto wako wakapokee maeneo hayo if there was money that you were not able to handle kama kuna pesa ambazo hungeweza kuzipata may your children handle those finances watoto wako wakapate hizo pesa in the mighty name of the lord 
And therefore we have a prayer today Oh Lord that would bless me and enlarge my territory May that happen to everybody under my voice In the mighty name of the Lord And advancement includes expansion of territories Who was to do this? Look at the last statement And God granted his request you are supervisor may not do it your interview committee may not do it but I came to tell you we have a God who can do it on your behalf in the mighty name of the Lord do I have, do I have a somebody with that cry do I have somebody with that cry that you require your enlargement of your territory may the Lord do it for you in the mighty name of the Lord I checked the amplified fashion and the Bible says Ah, oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my border. That is why I'm realizing as human beings there are boundaries that prevent us from going to the next level. And this man knew it. He was a king. But he knew there was greatness ahead of him. I don't know whether you understand that there is another level for you. That is why he prayed that let the border be extended. May the Lord grant you this. NLT. NLT. Uh, but uh, I don't know this amplified. I got another amplified. Uh, which amplified it, it, it talked about the border that amplified fashion is property. Sasa kulingana hiyo biblia ya amplified huo mpaka ni mali. It was property. Ilikuwa ni mali. So the picture is more clearer. Kwa hivyo picha pale sasa iko wazi zaidi. NLT is about expansion. NLT ni kuhusu kupanuliwa. But the border comes closer to us talking about property ERV it talks about something else I think they may not have ERV but it says give me more land more land I don't know but you understand what land is he had a desire for more Je, do you desire for more amen. amen I keep on saying kusema, the church has to grow restless instead of becoming comfortable with what you are you can become restless and make a decision and pray Lord give me more in the spiritual circles I need more in the physical realm I need more more health more years more money more jobs 
more contracts more engagements and more influence now this one has the following connotations one it means and we can write notes now on the wall or wherever you are enlarge the range of my efforts the rage you know the rage the the span of my effort yeah in advancing the kingdom i want you to get that right that your range of effort in advancing god's kingdom may be enlarged Yes, that one. When they add efforts in advancing the kingdom. Amen. You see, Naona, the physical cannot manifest if the spiritual is not expanding am i talking to somebody the thing has to begin from inside the desire to see the kingdom advance when that territory is expanded it is going to be manifested physically in your life number two open new doors of opportunity that is what it means more doors of opportunity milango zaidi ya nafasi I want to declare today as I prophesy. Nataka kutangaza leo ninapotabiri. Everybody associated with this altar. Kila mtu anayohusiana na madhabahu haya. As we enter the new month. Tunapoingia katika mwezi mpya. Is it on Thursday? Em. On Thursday the, as we enter into the new season. Tukiingia katika majira mapya kutoka Halmisi. Doors of opportunity are going to open. Milango ya nafasi itaenda kufunguka. That amen is not enough. Hiyo amen haitoshi. Let the online people know you have said amen. Wacha watu wa mtandaoni wajue kwamba mmesema amen. I said as we enter into the new season. Nimesema tunapoingia katika majira mapya. Doors of opportunity which you've never experienced. Milango ya nafasi ambayo hujawahi pata are going to open in your life. Itafunguka katika maisha yako. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jina kula Yesu. Number 3. Ya tatu. It means inamaanisha increase of the sphere of influence you know there are some spheres in life which god has said for you to influence to touch if you are touching only 20 people there is a plan of God to cause you to touch a thousand people. Are you getting what I'm saying? If today you are touching 1,000 people, God has a plan that you can touch 5,000 people and I prophesy today you shall begin to influence tens of thousands when you receive this anointing you shall command more influence the more influence you have the more the kingdom of God advances and the more you receive the blessing 
utakavyopokea baraka receive it in Jesus name ipokeni kwa jina la Yesu now this other one is exciting sasa hii ya nyingine ni ya kusisimua this territory hili eneo means your mission view, uh, your mission field or your ambassadorship inamaanisha ule uwanja wako wa kimisionari ama uwanja wako wa kibalonzi your ambassadorship e, ule ubalonzi wako what are you representing wewe unawakilisha nini may whatever you represent be expanded na chochote ambacho unawakilisha kikapanuliwe an ambassador balonzi of a small country wa inchi iliyo ndogo is not like an ambassador sio kama a balonzi of say united states you know they are states of america wa inchi kama uh, united states of america ama marekani i pray for you and i know when i pray for you god is going to remember me mungu atanikumbuka may you are filled of ambassadorship na uwanja wako wa umbalozi be greater than it has ever been ukawe mkuu zaidi kuliko vile umekuwa in the mighty name of the lord kwa jina kuu la bwana may the lord give you resources bwana mungu akupatie rasilimali are you hearing what i'm saying nasikia vile inasema may the lord give you resources bwana mungu akupatie rasilimali so that you can affect more people ili ukaweze kuwaguza watu wengi you can have a bigger representation unaweza kuwa na wakilishi ulio mkubwa Sometimes I don't know whether some people understand what we say here. Wakati mwingine si kama watu wengine wanaelewa kile tunasema hapa. You know you may be used to to, to small things, eh? Unajua labda umekuwa ukizoea, umezoea vitu vidogo. Until we speak a thing here and you wonder what is he say? Mpaka tunaongea juu ya kitu hapa na unashangaa sasa hao wanasema nini? You will understand it by and by. Utaelewa tu tukiendelea. When it happens in your life. Kifanyika katika maisha yako a bigger representation uwakilishi ulio mkuu can somebody say amen mtu aweze kusema amina if you are in charge what are they calling and vision nowadays and vision eh tarafa is it still and vision today division wanaita so no let me go to another if you are representing a sub county kama unasimamia sub county or even a ward ama wodi You are not like somebody representing a county. Wewe sio kama yule mtu ambaye amewakilisha county. I want to bring this closer to you. Nataka kuleta hii karibu nawe. If you are representing a county. Kama unasimamia county. You are not like a person representing a region. Wewe sio kama mtu ambaye anasimamia eneo. May the Lord give you to climb the steps. Bwana Mungu akupatie kupanda zile gazi. This church is going to produce people kanisa hili litawazaa watu who are going to be national ambao watakuwa wa kitaifa you know they know you by your village unajua wanakujua tu wanakutambulisha kwa kichwa but that thing is about to end lakini jambo hili liko karibu your kishu. territory will expand eneo lako litapanuka you better believe what i'm saying afadhali uamini kile inasema number 4 number 5 ya 4 ama ya 5 expansion of your dominion e kupanuka kwa utawala wako i need more on this monta moses expansion of your dominion kupanuka kwa utawala wako there is something we call dominion kuna kitu tunakiita utawala your rulership e ule utawala wako let me tell you the truth wacheni waambie ukweli god gave you dominion Mungu alikupatia utawala. You are supposed to rule. Na wasaili kutawala. Don't allow poverty to rule over you. Usiruhusu umaskini ukutawale. Fight that poverty. Epigana na huo umaskini. And I can give you an example. Na naweza kuwapatia mfano. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4. Wa Korintho wa pili 10 mstari wa 4. You can have dominion. Unaweza kuwa na utawala. The Bible says. Nayo Biblia inasema 10:4. Ewa Korintho wa pili kumi na mstari wa 4. Ah and I think uh, when I wanted to know about uh, the property maybe it was can you take me to first chronicles 4:10 na unipatie message. Eh mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza kumi na mstari wa 
message bible today we are going slowly no it is message yeah message ah yes ndio hiyo yes did you know that land is everything mliwajua ya kwamba ardhi ardhi ndio kila kitu aya umepata sasa ulikuwa unaita hichi sasa ni ardhi yes okay. Did you know that land is everything? Na wewe jua kwamba ardhi ndio kila kitu. Everything. Kila kitu. Look at this prayer. Angalia ombi hili. Give me land. Nipatie ardhi. And there, there is a comma there. Na hapo kuna mkato. Amen. Amen. Large tracts of land. Eh sehemu kubwa sana ya ardhi. Amen. Amen. I feel like prophesying this. Nice. I can even be talking to the online people. Hata nasikia kama kutabiri juu ya hii. Hata nasikia naongea na watu Because wa I'm talking to people outside this country. Kwa sababu naongea na watu ambao wako nje ya nchi hii. Who are going to see this video later? Ba wataona video hii baadaye. But if you are here and you desire this lakini kama uko hapa na unatamani hii This is not about me. Sasa hii sio kunihusu. Somebody under my voice. Mtu aliye chini ya sauti yangu is going to be given land. Atapatiwa ardhi. Not only land. Eh yes, sio ardhi but yeah. large tracts of land. Lakini maeneo makubwa ya ardhi. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Yapokeeni kwa jina la Yesu. Now go to 2 Corinthians 10:4. Sasa enda kwa Korintho wa pili msura 10 na mstari wa 4. Ah uh, We can start with this. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. Tunaweza kuanza nai maana silaha za vita vyetu si za mwili. You know I mentioned poverty and some of you are quiet because you know you can't come out. Najua nilitaja umaskini na baadhi yenu mkanyamaza kwa sababu najua kwamba hamwezi mkatoka. But when we come here to pray. Lakini tunapokuja hapa kuona we engage serious weapons tunashirikisha silaha za vita which can even fight death basi tunaweza kupigana na kifo we have the power to stop death tuko na kifo tuko na nguvu za the weapons we are fighting with kwa sababu zile silaha ambazo tunapigana are not the weapons of this world eh sio silaha za dunia hii on the contrary na kinyume chake they have divine power ziko na nguvu za kiungu godly power nguvu za uungu if you can know the arsenals under your control kama unaweza kujua zile vita za zile silaha za kizatari ambazo uko nazo you can become different from today unaweza kuwa mtu tofauti kutoka leo have divine power ziko na nguvu za kiungu to demolish za kuamgusha not only poverty na sio maskini peke yake but stronghold hata ngome some holds which are very strong ngome zingine ambazo We have that power. Tuna hizo nguvu. I engage these weapons. Nashirikisha silaha hizo. To deal with your situations. Kukabiliana na hali zetu. To deal with your stubborn forces. Kukabiliana na nguvu zenu zambazo. We have been fighting your family. Basi mekuwa sikipiga kwa have been fighting your destiny. Tunapigana hatima zetu. We engage the power of the name of Jesus. Tunatumia nguvu za jina la Yesu. To destroy every stronghold. Kuharibu kila ngome. In the life of everybody under my voice in the name of Jesus look at verse 5 the bible says we demolish arguments and every pretension na kila kujifanya that sets itself against the knowledge of god bako kuna jinua juu ya elimu na ufahamu wa mungu and we take captive of every thought to make it obedient to christ na tunachukua nyara ya kila ya kila wazo na kuitisha kwa kristo church we are empowered kanisa tumetiwa nguvu nothing can stop the church hakuna kitu chaweza kuzuia kanisa nothing can stop a son of god hakuna kitu chaweza kumzuia We are already empowered. Tayari tumetiwa nguvu. We are powerful. Tuko na nguvu. Receive the power. Pokeeni nguvu. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. The last point there was increase my responsibility. E point ya mwisho pale ni kuongeza ile male majukumu yangu. My responsibility. E ule wakile wajibikaji wangu. When you need more. When you need more. Unapohitaji zaidi you are saying 
you need more responsibility unasema ya kwamba unahitaji majukumu zaidi as we actualize this vision and theme tunapopata maono haya na kichwa hiki what will happen is that some of you are going to have more responsibilities kile kitatendeka ni kwamba baadhi yenu mtakuwa na e majukumu zaidi because every expansion comes with responsibility kwa sababu kila kupanuka kuna kuja na majukumu now listen to me sasa mnisikilize and this is why some people cannot have their territories expanded na hii ndio sababu watu wengine hawawezi kupata maeneo yao yakiwa yamepanuliwa when you give them a small thing ukiwapatia tu kitu kidogo some small responsibility jukumu tu ambalo ni ndogo they keep on running away from that responsibility wanaendelea na kutoroka ilo jukumu you tell them you can be coming early in church at 9 to do ushery nawaambia mnaweza kufika mapema saa tatu ili uweze kufanya kazi ya ushamanzi no they say we we cannot manage wanasema hapana hatuwezi you tell them to come and conduct a prayer meeting on friday waambie waje kuongoza mtano wa maombi ijumaa they tell you they cannot make it wanakuambia hatutaweza you call somebody you tell him can you take this item to my own village is only 20 kilometers from here they tell you no i cannot manage that uweze kuchukua kifaa hiki upeleke pale kijijini na ni mwendo tu wa kilomita 20 na anakuambia hapana siwezi nikafanya hivyo and the devil has a way of doing things naye shetani yuko na njia ya kufanya vitu eh my pastor here can do interpretation here mchungaji wangu hapa anaweza kufanya tafsiri hapa i'm not saying is like that eh si sema yuko hivyo but i have heard people say is it only me who can do this lakini nasikia watu wakisema kwani kwani ni mimi peke yangu ambaye naweza kufanya kazi hiyo when such people begin to pray for increase and expansion it cannot happen wakati watu wa aina hiyo wanapoanza kuombea kupanuka na kuongezeka haiwezi ikafanyika because when you tell them to pursue something they they feel it is not okay kwa sababu ukiwaambia washughulikie na wafanye jambo wanahisi ya kwamba haili increase kuongezeka means more responsibility maana yake ni kuongezeka kwa majukumu somebody say amen mtu aseme amina somebody called me the other day mtu akaniita ile siku nyingine eh from kitui kutoka kitui he is actually the chaplain of a national prison i think in ruiru ndiye msimamizi mkuu wa mambo ya kidini katika prison ya kitui ruiru ruiru ah he told me akaniambia i want to use the example of reverend damaris na nataka kutumia mfano wa Reverend Damaris when she was here kneeling down to be your dad alipokuwa hapa amepiga magoti ili awekeneza uh, tengeneza hii uh, when she kneeled down here alipopiga magoti hapa you saw that she was she was down uliona ya kwamba alikuwa chini and it is like when ants were laid on her it was like she was pressed down na ni kama wakati mikono iliwekwa juu yake ni kama alikuwa anafinyiliwa chini the symbol of that thing e ishara ya jambo hilo though it is expansion of territory hata ingawa ni kupanuka kwa maeneo in essence it means you are being told humble yourself more become more of a servant hakika ni kama unaambiwa wewe ukajishushe zaidi ukazidi kufanyika mfanyikazi because you are becoming more of a servant you are taking more responsibility kwa sababu unafanyika mfanyikazi zaidi unazidi kupokea majukumu zaidi so expanding of a territory means more responsibility kwa hivyo kupanuka kwa eneo kunamaanisha majukumu yamekuwa mengi 
Now after that explanation Sasa baada ya maelezo hayo are you now ready Sasa wewe uko tayari Are you ready for expansion of your territory Wewe uko tayari kwa kupanuka kwa eneo lako Then it means more responsibility Basi inamaanisha majukumu yamekuwa mengi There are people who love it when they come to church Kuna watu ambao wanapenda wakati wanakuja tu kanisani they only sit and walk back home. Na wanaketi tu na alafu wanatembea wanarudi nyumbani. They don't want to do anything. Hawataki kufanya jambo lolote. But I tell you the truth. Lakini waambieni ukweli. If you desire increase. Kama uta unatamani kuongezeka. I want you to know. Ningependa ujue. It means more responsibility. Inamaanisha majukumu yamekuwa mengi. Why are you ready? Why for you expansion? Ready? Kwa kupanuka it means more responsibility maana yake ni majukumu yamekuwa mengi driving from far to come for practice usafiri kutoka mbali kuja kufanya mazoezi i'm not saying i cannot afford esemi na sio kusema kwamba siwezi nika look at what our pastor does angalia vile mchungaji wetu anafanya he is closing the school next week. But is here today because of the consecration. He would have said I'm coming back on Thursday. But expansion of territory means more responsibility. Now be sincere. How many people? Ni watu wangapi? And they will show by their right hand. Na watadonesha kwa mkono wao wa kule. Are willing today. Wana taka leo. Their territories to be expanded. Maenyo yao ya panuke. I can see a number. Na weza kuona idadi. Some are fearing the responsibility. Wengine wanaogopa ele majuku. I don't want to tell you to stand. Sitaku wabia msimame. But expansion of territory. Lakini upanuzi wa maeneo. Means more responsibility. Mana yake ni majukumu ya mezi. Somebody say amen. Tuwa seme amina. When you say somebody is a word and administrator. Ukisema kwamba mtu anasimamia uo. He is not like a governor. He is not like a governor. But all of you desire to become a governor. But you become a servant. But you become a servant. You serve more people. Unatumikia watu wengi And can I say this Na niweza kusema hivi Your freedom is limited Huru wako umezuiliwa ni mbu ni mbu There are places I cannot go Kuna mahali ambapo suwezi ni kaen Because I stand here every Sunday Kwa sababu na simama hapa kila jumapili Because I'm your pastor Kwa sababu mine mchunga juwe There are engagements of conversations I cannot participate Kuna maushirika ya masungumzo ambao suwezi ni kaya kubali there are many jokes I, I can write. Kuna kazi nyingi ambazo zinaweza kuandika. Hapana, sio kazi. Jokes. Oh, kuna miza mingi, michezo mingi ambayo anaweza kushiriki. I can post it. Naweza kuituma katika Because they are all over social media. Kwa sababu ziko kila mahali katika mizinda ya. But ya my hand is tied. Lakini mikono yangu imefungwa. That is what it means. Hivyo ndivyo inamaanisha. To take responsibility. E kuwajibika and to have your territory enlarged. Kupata eneo lako likiwa limepanuka. You are limited. Wewe umezuilika by the expansion of your territory. Na kupanuliwa kwa eneo lako Praise the Lord Wana asifiwe How many are ready to be enlarged Wangapi wakotayari wakupanuliwa May your territory be enlarged Na eneo lako lipanuliwe Somebody say amen Mtu aseme amina Now another day Sasa siku nyingini I will teach you Neta kufundisha On the steps Eju ya hatua but this is what I want us to do today. To ask of the Lord. In Psalm 28. That is what we are going to ask for. Ask of me. And I will make the nations your inheritance. The end of the earth your possession. That is what you are going to do. Today you can ask for anything that you want. 
What do you want? Wewe unataka nini? Ask of him. Muulize umwitishe yeye. Look at amplified. Angalia amplified. And he can give you even the nations. Na tena pia anaweza kupatia mataifa to be your inheritance. Ili yawe miliki yako. And the uttermost parts of the half. Na hata sehemu zote za miisho ya dunia. Is your possession. E kama miliki yako. Can I have a message Bible? Nipate hiyo ina Biblia message. These are territories given to us. Haya ni maeneo ambayo tumepewa. Mama somebody is asking you what do you want? Mama mtu anakuuliza wewe unataka nini? Name it. E kitaje. This is very simple. Sasa hii ni rahisi. You guys have things you want. Nyinyi watu kuna vitu mnataka. Name them this afternoon. Vitaje alasiri ya leo. Amen. Amen. Name them. Vitaje. Is it promotion? Is it a good family? Is it a child? Name them. What do you want? Name it. Amen. Amen. Nations as a present. Mungu nae ni wajabu. Yeah, you want me to give you a nation as a present? Unataka ni kupatie taifa kama kama zawadi. If he can give you a nation kama anaweza kupatia taifa what about 10 million nayo milioni 10 what about a cathedral nayo cathedral cathedral is not even like a sub county cathedral na sio kama sub county a, a nation as a present taifa kama zawadi continent <laughs> as a prize bara kama tunu kama yeah. this is interesting sasa hii ni ya kuvutia Maybe Madheka can check later the difference between a present and a price because a nation is lower than a continent. Sababu taifa ni ndogo kuliko bara. I think a present you may not have worked for but I think a price you Zawadi must inawaz... have done something. Zawadi inawezekana au ifanyie kazi lakini a price tuzo. Tuzo yes a price. Tuzo. After Zawadi prayer, inawaz... after commitment, after serving, after dedication you can even get something as big as a continent baada ya maombi baada ya kujitoa unaweza kupatia kupata kitu ambacho ni kikubwa kama bara guys we limit ourselves watu tunajizuia wenyewe i've seen people going before god nimeona watu wakienda mbele za mungu they say god i'm nobody na wanasema mimi mungu si kitu i don't want riches hata sitaki utajiri so that i may fall back ili nisirudi nyuma i just want my daily bread nahitaji mkate wangu wa kila siku you have not been on the on the CBRM. Wewe hujakuwa katika CBRM. You have never come here. Wewe hujawahi kuja hapa. And God is asking you. Naye Mungu anakuuliza. What do you want? Wewe unataka nini? Name it. Kitaje. The thing is name it in prayer. Kitu cha muhimu ni kitaje katika maombi. You want a nation? Unataka taifa? Nations. Mataifa. Even continents. Hata bara. Ah. <laughs> May God do something explosive in your life. Bwana Mungu afanye kitu cha kulipuka katika maisha yako. As your territories begin to expand. Maeneo yako yakianza kupanuka. May it be explosive. Ikawe ya kulipuka. Amen. Amen. I want you also to know. Na tena pia nataka ujue as we get consecrated. Eh tukipata kuweka wakfu your territory is going to change amen amen god willing on saturday we shall be there this means your territory has to expand and i'm being reminded this is the last sunday na nakumbushwa ya kwamba leo ndio Jumapili ya mwisho. Amen. Amen. Sunday will be a Thanksgiving Sunday. Jumapili itakuwa jukwaa ya Jumapili ya kutoa shukrani. In a new month. E, katika mwezi mpya. May the Lord expand your territory. Bwana Mungu apanue maeneo yako. In the mighty name of the Lord. Kwa jina kula Bwana. Whatever this means. Sote hiki kina maana. May it happen in your life. Ikafanyike katika maisha yako. NLT says one thing. NLT inazungumzia jambo moja about this expansion. Kuhusu upanuzi huu. NLT says, NLT inasema The first statement. E, usemi wa kwanza. Only fanya kuitisha tu. What? 
Itisha tu. Ai. There is even no prayer here. Hata hapa hakuna maombi. You know prayer is complicated. Unajua maombi ina kinzani. But asking is easier. Lakini kuelezea ni jambo rahisi. When you tell people come and they seed for one hour they get worried. Ukiambia kujeni mfanye uombezi wa saa moja wataanza kuwa na shaka. I normally see Huwa Reverend anapa. Reverend Damari is tell, telling my children go and ask your dad. Reverend uh, uh, Damari si akienda anaambia watoto wake ndeni muulizie muitishe baba. Hivyo tu. Hivyo. Go and ask. Ndeni muulize. And for sure no one has come to me. Na hakika hakuna mmoja aliyekuja kwa. Including this morning. Pamoja na asubuhi. And failed to be given. Na akakosa kupewa. If I am a human being. Kama mimi ni binadamu. And when my children ask for a fish from me, I don't give them a snack. Na wakati watoto wangu wananitisha samaki, mimi siwapatii nyoka. What about our heavenly father? Naye baba wetu wa mbinguni namna gani? Only ask. Fanyeni kuitisha tu. You have a debt today. Unayo deni leo. Only ask. Fanya kuitisha tu. You need healing today. Unahitaji uponyaji leo. Only ask. Itisha tu. You need a car. Unahitaji gari. Only ask. Fanya kuitisha tu. You know there are people who tell you you have to be logical. Unajua kuna watu ambao wanakuambia eh utumie akili. They tell you young man ride a bicycle fast. Kwanza endesha bicycle. <laughs> Then after that after five years buy a motorbike baada hiyo baada miaka mitano ununue pikipiki those guys are not in CBRM how watu wawasomi biblia they proceed and tell you after that wanazidi wanakuambia na baada ya hiyo look for a nod pro box utafuta ile pro box and try it na uijaribu then now you can think of ex japan na basi baada ya hiyo naweza kuanza kufikiria sasa But of around Kuba. 10 years. Ya hata miaka 10 hivi. They give you a process. Wanakupatia utaratibu until you give up in life. Paka unavunjika moyo katika I kusha. have come to talk to somebody who has given up. Nimekuja kuongea na mtu ambaye amekata tamaa. I'm telling you for your territory to expand. Na kuambia kwa eneo lako ulipata kupanuka. Only ask. Wewe fanya kuitisha tu. And your mighty God will give you the nations as your inheritance na mungu wako wa mbinguni wa mataifa atakupatia mataifa kama ulimilikia and the whole half as your possession kama miliki yako now i announce the month of july sasa natangaza mwezi wa july as we step into that month tunapokanyaga mwezi huu it is going to be the month utakuwa ni mwezi of expansion of our territories celebrate jesus if you believe it amen amen we begin to possess that promise that our territories are going to be expanded and i declare from today you shall live a life without limits because the boundaries will have to move we shall engage every weapon to cause every boundary to move to cause every tent to expand in the mighty name of the Lord everything limiting your life limiting your progress limiting your expansion it is in our feet today in the mighty name of the Lord no power of limitation is permitted to fight you you shall expand in the mighty name of Jesus raise on your feet and speak expansion the expansion of your territories somebody declare that every territory in your life is going to expand by the power of the word spoken today every kind of a territory in your life in your family is going to expand in the name of Jesus refuse every limiter 
of your expansion begin to command territories in your sphere of operation in the mighty name of the Lord pray for your career pray for your business pray for your family there shall be expansion of territories of territories there shall be expansion of territories of territories in the mighty name of the Lord I declare today every territory in your life that has been limited it is going to obey to expand in the name of Jesus pray for your family members may there be expansion may there be expansion in your family circles even as we declare nothing can limit you nothing can limit you we announce unlimited expansion of our territories Father we thank you even as we step into the new month we are speaking expansion in the mighty name of the Lord Father we honor you Father we thank you Oh yes Doing the zote pamoja that blessing you need that lifting you need that possession there are things you have to possess new territories territories of a new lifting of a new blessing territories from above father we receive our territories no boundaries shall limit us 
You give it to Jabez. Give it to somebody today. To have their territories expanded. Their ministry territories. Their financial territories. I pray Jehovah God. That such territories. Are going to become our possession. Thank you God. We honor you and we exhort you. Sema nyuma yangu Bwana Mungu. Bwana Mungu. Naja kwako. Naja kwako. Kupitia kwa mwanao Yesu Kristo. Pitia kwa mwanao Yesu Kristo. Ninajitangazia. Ninajitangazia. Maeneo yaliyopanuka. Maeneo yaliyopanuka. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Maeneo ya kiroho. Maeneo ya kiroho. Na yaamrisha yapanuke. Yaamrisha. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Maeneo ya kifedha. Maeneo ya kifedha. Na yatamkia kupanuka. Yatamkia. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina. Sema kila kizuizi. Kila kizuizi. Kilichosimama kinyume. Kilichosimama. Na maisha ya Yangu, na, yangu, na familia yangu na, familia yangu, na, kesho, yangu, na kesho yangu na kiamrisha sasa kikaondoke kika katika njina la Yesu njina. sema nachukua silaha na ya njina la Yesu Kristo na sema nachukua silaha na ya ndamu ya Yesu natangaza na sasa na kila jambo lililojiinua kupinga kupanuka kwangu Nalitangazia kushindwa Naliweka chini ya migu yangu Katika nchina la Yesu Sema mwezi unapoisha Nitazidi kupanda Nitazidi kwenda mbele Katika nchina la Yesu Sema ninaamrisha mwezi wa saba Unapo kuja kuanza Maeneo yangu yatapanuka maeneo yangu yatapata njia katika njina la Yesu baba nakuulisha unipatie miliki yangu katika njina la Yesu chochote ambacho ni changu ninakipokea akitawekwa kando na ibilishi kitakuwa ni changu na kipokea sasa na kimiliki sasa na kipokea leo sio kesho na kipata leo milango inafunguka leo neema inashuka leo kibali kinakuja leo neema mpya inakuja juu ya maisha yangu neema ya kiuduma neema ya kiuponyaji Neema ya kimiujiza ninapokea maeneo yangu katika jina la Yesu kuanzia leo sitazuiliwa na umasikini na uchawi na maadui nitasonga mbele kupokea miliki yangu katika jina la Yesu ewe roho wa uchawi hautaniweza na kuweka chini ya miguu yangu katika jina la Yesu chema mimi nimebarikiwa mara ya pili nimebarikiwa ya tatu nimebarikiwa ya ine nimebarikiwa ya tano nimebarikiwa ya sita nimebarikiwa ya saba nimebarikiwa Kuna vitu vinavunjika leo. Kuna vitu vimevunjika. Kuna laana zimesikia sauti ya Bwana. Kuna mipaka imeondoka katika maisha yako. Mipaka iliyokuwa imekataa imekubali kuondoka. Maana tunaingia katika majira mapya. Ni majira ya kupanuliwa kwa mipaka. Kila mipaka iliyokuwa imekatalia mipaka ya vizazi mipaka ya kizamani mipaka ya kilahana inakuondokea sasa pokea neema neema ya kuchukua maeneo neema ya kuchukua
kuchukua maeneo receive it today i receive it shalaba ya baba thank you god thank you god thank you for the territory 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 now na watu katika nyumba hii ambao wataamrisha mataifa wataamrisha mataifa watakuwa na dominion watakuwa na dominion ya kimataifa pokea hiyo neema katika jina la Yesu tunanena na mahali petu shamba letu la kathidro tunaondoa kila mipaka tunaondoa kila mipaka mipaka ondokeni somebody speak to the boundaries ongea na hiyo mipaka lazima 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 hiyo kathidro lazima hiyo kathidro lazima hiyo possession lazima hiyo miliki nane anaungana na mimi katika haya mahombi Homba kabisa homba kabisa hiyo territory tukaipokee tukaipokee tukaimiliki ikawe ni yetu tunaipokea we speak a turn around 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 no more stagnation no more stagnation we need the finances we need the millions we need the billions we need the money we need the money wherever it is we need the money Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. We release it. Tunayachilia. Whatever is holding you a blessing. We release it today. Nakiachilia leo. Thank you God. Asante Mungu. This we pray. Haya twaomba. In Jesus name. Kwa jina la Yesu. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Tushangilia Yesu. Oh.